weapons in the fight against opioids. Providers in Barrie are making new investments in life-saving drugs aimed at reversing deadly overdoses. So far, Vermont has gotten some $150 million in opioid settlements, with much of that money going towards so-called harm reduction initiatives. And part of that involves new kits, and our Calvin Cutler is live in Barrie tonight. Calvin, what's in these kits? Good evening, Darren and Kat. They contain naloxone, otherwise known as Narcan, and they contain breathing kits as well. Now, this is just the latest step that the community of Barrie is taking to give more people tools in the fight against opioids. Central Vermont taking a new tact in overcoming overdoses. This week, service providers will be installing two Nalox boxes in town, one at the Turning Point Center of Central Vermont and another at the Foundation House. The kit contains Narcan and a breathing kit to help reverse the effects of xylazine, which is resistant to overdose reversal drugs. It's not by itself enough, but, um, uh, but it's something and it can it can probably keep someone alive till EMS gets there. Turning Point Executive Director Bob Purvis shows us where one of the kits will hang. The initiative is a form of harm reduction, aiming to help people with substance use disorder practice safely while giving them resources to enter into treatment through Vermont's hub and spoke model. One of these Nalox boxes can go for up to $275. Could that be enabled? That's a good question to ask, but the answer is clearly no. Harm reduction practices do not encourage addiction. The studies have shown that having harm reduction services increases people going into treatment. This year, Vermont lawmakers also bolstered safe drug use, passing a sweeping bill, which in part expanded a pilot program from southern Vermont, where people can have their drugs chemically tested for fentanyl and other substances without being prosecuted. Lawmakers say these programs have been funded through big settlements with opioid manufacturers. We're committed to doing everything we can, and that means literally turning over every rock. Attorney General Charity Clark says in addition to opioid manufacturers, many Many other companies bear responsibility for the lives lost. In the latest settlements announced earlier this week, Walgreens, CVS, Allergan, and others will pay $46 million to fund harm reduction services in communities across Vermont. We're doing the best that we can to make sure that we're doing all that we can to hold those people accountable and get as much money as we can for Vermont, but we know that it's not enough. But back in Barrie, Purvis says the new boxes are mostly symbolic. Now, there's still a lot of stigma out there, and so that's fine, but there's still going to be the majority of the Narcan will be people coming in the door and asking for it. Now, staff at Turning Point will be installing the boxes here in Barrie tomorrow, and they're hoping that they can be a model that the rest of the state can replicate. Reporting live in Barrie, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News.